In this video, I'm going to describe what FlowWise is and why I chose to add the Palm API endpoints for the large language model, chat, and embeddings to it. FlowWise is a low code, no code front end for Langchain. Now, Langchain has two backends, one of which is in Python, the other's in uh, JavaScript, TypeScript. And FlowWise is basically a TypeScript. Um, React front end for this so that you can connect together all the different things that Langchain can do using nodes in a graph. Now behind me you can see quite a complicated graph which is for the embedding thing um, but what I'd like to do is first show you how you can connect these things together using a very simple example. So when we first start FlowWise we get the chance to add a new flow. So let's just do that by doing add new here and now we can have blank, blank canvas. What I want to do is to open a, one of these node um, lists. And for my simple test example, I'm going to pick a large language model. So in particular, I'll pick the Google Palm one. So here we have Google Palm as um, an, this is a, a language model, which we can now use in Langchain. And I'm going to connect to credential I've already got one set up for myself. So this is one of the nice things that Flowwise will do is it will store your credentials off screen essentially. And so what we're going to use is the model, which is the text bison 001. Um, and you know, this is it's all set to go. Now you might think, well, what I'll do is let me just first I'll, I'll say this as test. And now let me try and talk to it. So how are you? Okay. Um, the problem is that it's not, it doesn't have a chain or an agent. Okay, so this is kind of saying I can't talk directly to this. I need to have some kind of interface method. So what I'll do is I'll add a, a chain. So it says it wants a chain. I'll do that. And I'll have just a very simple LLM chain because I have a large language model here. And I can then connect Google Palm into the language model. But now what it needs is a prompt. Okay, so let us let us create a prompt as well. Basically, what I'm doing is is, is let, looking at the nodes and seeing what I, I should be put into, what kinds of things I should be creating. So here we have a prompt template, and I'm going to be connecting this prompt template, sorry, up to the prompt here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to now convert this plate is so what is the weather like in and then I'm going to put the word question in here. You can see I've actually put this in brackets and so this is something which Langchain will now know what to do with um, when we get to the next step. So you, you'll, you'll very soon see what this whole chaining thing is about. So what I'll do is I'll save this um, and now I can type in a thing here where it, what, I, what will happen is when I put in a word here that will become the question in the prompt template. So if I just put in uh, Singapore, this thing will now put that through the template into Google Palm, get the answer back. And it's seen that Google Palm has said Singapore has a tropical rain tropical whatever basically it's used this template to now essentially chain through the query to the language model and clearly Langchain can be used to do much much more than this but this is like the simplest example and so if I put in you know Paris um, we can get out other answers Okay, so you can see that this is this, for a location. This is going to do great. You could imagine if I have various different other types of query, we could also do that with the various other templates and then have a switch between these templates, building an application. So the other nice thing you can do um, once you've saved this model is you can then actually start serving it um, via a REST API. So if you um, uh, cl click on this thing, basically it will tell you how to get to the REST API um, and access it from you know, different, different coding things. Um, basically, uh, while on the UI front end, we've got a React front end to the API at the back end, you can actually expose the back end to downstream users 
who would then access it by a pure API. So we're automatically in deployment mode using Flowwise. So this is pretty cool. Okay, back at the front page again, having done this, this test, this is now saved. I can go back into it any time I want. Um, let me just show you the more uh, involved one, which was we had at the beginning, which is an embedding model. And what I've done here is, let me just par pan around some of these things. I'm going to use the Google Palm embeddings. What this will do is take a like a, a chunk of text and re convert it into a vector. So what I will want to do is actually store those vectors in an in-memory vector store. This is another of these nodes. And where I'm going to get the documents from is this document producer, which is a GitHub document producer. And so what this will do is it will go to this GitHub page. This is a very simple um, repo. And, and it will then go through this page and then split it using this markdown text splitter. So basically, I'm going to look at the uh, what this person has in their readme and then use that as my my document okay, so I'm, I'm doing a very simple document retrieval kind of thing here um, and using the in-memory vector store now if you had a much larger collection of uh, documents then you would obviously use a proper document store um, but this is you know simple enough to start um, having done that um, I will use this with a Google Palm um, language model which will essentially allow this retrieval thing to use a language model to convert my question into something which is usable by the vector store retriever in order to give my uh, answers to my Q&A. So what I'll do is, is I've got a couple of examples here. Um, basically, the, this readme explains how to use various things with their, uh, with, with their package. And if you ask it, how do I use a badge? or um, how do I install, basically it will then convert that into vectors, look up the relevant chunks from the chunked readme, uh, return the answer, and then parse out the answer to, to using the LLM. So we've got two components here um, to produce this thing. So clearly this is you know, just the beginnings of what you can assemble um, using this, this kind of node, um, node-like arrangement. And you know, this is turns into a pretty powerful front end. So again, this is a low code, no code environment to actually use Langchain. Um, and now with these free endpoints, you've got a pretty powerful system which anyone can pick up straight away. As one final piece of this demonstration, I'll show uh, how to use Flowwise to prove out the program-aided language model chain from Langchain. Basically, this PAL model uh, was something developed um, in late 22. Um, and this was very quickly implemented into to Langchain, um, where essentially we're trying to use the language model to produce Python code, which would help it in particular solve kind of word math problems. So let's just go back into Flowwise. And I'm going to go into this for Palm. So what I've pulled in here is very similar to just the uh, location weather uh, idea which we showed before. I've got Google Palm as my language model. Um, I've got a prompt template and here what I've got is a whole sequence of examples of how to how to use this thing. So basically for every question I'm going to write a little bit of Python. Um, I've got a whole bunch of different questions here. And the very last one, I'm going to say Q question, and then that's going to give, give me an answer. So the idea here is that if I put in a, a word puzzle problem, it will then essentially write Python program to do that accurately. So if I load up um, thing, basically we've got, uh, this is a bookshelf has five shelves. Each shelf can have eight books. It's empty. How many can I have? So it's clearly going to be eight times five. Um, and here it's written, come back and written some Python for the solution um, where it does number of shelves, number of shelf, multiplies them together, returns the result. So this is not very complicated Python. Um, but you can see kind of the power in what is going on in that it, instead of relying on the language model to do algebra or mathematics, arithmetic, uh, which we know they can't do particularly well, for 
you know, reasons which I talked about in the, my presentation, um, writing Python is a whole nother level of accuracy which these things can um, help themselves to by making use of tools. Okay, so as a wrap up, um, there is a company I believe behind Flowwise, um, but all I've been interacting with has been the one which is available as a free open source tool. It's under an Apache 2 license. Um, they, it's all on GitHub. Um, and you know, right here, I've got the Palm um, LLM chat and embedding components as being accepted pull requests. So that's my small contribution to making this all work as one big open source happy family. Thanks a lot.